Rajendra Holi Sharma. In previous videos, we have discussed rearrangement and name reaction. And from today, we are going to start new chapter, Unit 2A, that is inorganic reagent in organic synthesis. This chapter includes important inorganic reagents. First one is the lithium aluminum hydride. Second one is the aluminum isopropoxide. Third one is the Adams catalyst that is PTO. Fourth one is the selenium dioxide. Fifth one will be the osmium tetroxide. And last one will be the lead tetraacetate. In this chapter, we'll discuss preparation, applications and mechanism of these organic reagents first step of this reagent is its introduction lithium aluminum hydride is also abbreviated as lah and it is one of the best reducing agent in organic synthesis it is nucleophilic reducing agent and best used as a reducing agent in multiple C double bond O group. Then next is in which reaction it is used as a reducing agent. It can reduce aldehyde to primary alcohol, ketone to secondary alcohol, carboxylic acid and ester to primary alcohol, amide and cyanide to primary amine, lactone to diols and epoxide to alcohols. But lithium aluminum hydride is not used to reduce non-polar multiple bond such as C double bond C. But when this alkene is conjugated with the polar multiple bond then it can be used as a reducing agent. It is very powerful reducing agent and it is better than the NaBH4 that is called sodium borohydride because ALH bond is much weaker than the bond between B and H. That's why it is best reducing agent than the NaBH4. What about the structure of lithium aluminum hydride? It is just given on your screen. It is a tetrahedral arrangement. All the hydrogens of lithium aluminum hydrides are arranged in a tetrahedral manner surrounding the aluminum metal. And aluminum is sp3 hybridized in this molecule. Next is its preparation. So in its preparation, when lithium hydride is reacted with the AlCl3, then it produces lithium aluminum hydride and hydrogen gas. The preparation of this is very violent reaction. And during this reaction, lots of care should be taken. Next part of the reaction is the applications. This is the most important part. It's first application in reduction of the carbonyl compounds. This is the most important application of lithium aluminum hydride. As I told you in the beginning, lithium aluminum hydride is nucleophilic reducing agent. In this reaction, hydride ion transfer to the carbon of carbonyl group. The reactivity of the carbonyl compounds with this reagent is just given on your screen. First is the aldehyde, then ketone, then ester, then amide, then carboxylic acid. This sequence tells that aldehyde gives the fastest reaction and carboxylic acid gives the slowest reaction. Few example I have given on your screen. In first example, crotonaldehyde undergoes the reduction with lithium aluminum hydride followed by the hydrolysis. Then it would be converted into crotyl alcohol. In this reaction, CHO is converted into CH2OH. 
in second reaction 2 cyclohexanone undergoes reduction with lithium aluminum hydride followed by the hydrolysis it produces two products first one is the cyclohexane 2 in 1 all and second one is the cyclohexanol out of this two first one is produces in 98 percentage while second one is produced in 2 percent to understand the mechanism of lithium aluminum hydride now let's take one example of acetone 4 mole of acetone undergoes reduction followed by the hydrolysis it produces the isopropyl alcohol to understand the reaction let's discuss about its mechanism in detail in its mechanism when one mole of acetone is reacted with the one mole of lithium aluminum hydride then one of the hydrogen of the lithium aluminum hydride is transferred to carbonyl carbon that is called hydride transfer because hydrogen carries negative charge and produces isopropoxide ion along with this ALH3 is also produced that is Lewis acid when this Lewis acid is reacted with the isopropoxide ion then it produces a complex compound in that complex compound one isopropoxide ion is directly attached with the aluminium when that complex compound is reacted with the another molecule of acetone then one of the hydrogen of aluminium will be transferred to carbonyl carbon and it produces a complex compound in which two isopropoxide ion is directly attached with aluminium in next step two moles of acetone when reacted with that complex compound which is having two isopropoxide ions and produces a giant molecule a giant complex compound in which four isopropoxide ions are arranged surrounding one aluminium which is undergoes hydrolysis and due to the hydrolysis these four isopropoxide ion will be separated and it will combine with the four hydrogen and produces isopropyl alcohol and in next reaction these 4 OH minus produces ALOH thrice plus LiOH which is on acidic workup it produces lithium aluminum hydride second application is reduction of the carboxylic acid and its derivative as we know that carboxylic acid gives the slowest reaction with the lithium aluminum hydride that we discussed in first application few examples are just given on your screen in first example when ferroic acid undergoes the reduction and followed by the hydrolysis then it produces furfuryl alcohol in second example when thalai chloride reacted with the lithium aluminum hydride followed by the hydrolysis then it produces the diol 2COCl group is converted into 2CH2OH group and in last reaction when ester undergoes reduction with lithium aluminum hydride followed by the hydrolysis then it would be converted into alcohol example is given to you ethyl benzoate is converted into benzyl alcohol third application is reductions of azides nitriles nitroalkanes and cyanides all these functional groups produces primary amines all the reactions i have given on the screen azides when undergoes reduction it produces the amines same thing with the oxide same thing with the cyanide and same thing with the nitro alkanes
fourth application this is last but not the least even though it is most important application reduction of alkyl halides and aryl halides alkyl halides undergoes reduction with the lithium aluminum hydride followed by the hydrolysis then it produces the alkanes i have just given one example when butyl bromide undergoes reduction with the lithium aluminum hydride followed by the hydrolysis then it produces n butane in next example when one chloro two iodo benzene undergoes reduction followed by the hydrolysis it produces iodo benzene so students this is all about the introduction preparation applications mechanism of lithium aluminum hydride i hope this video gives the full knowledge of this inorganic reagent in next video we'll discuss another inorganic reagent till then take care goodbye from your most favorite rasayan guru